Hi everybody! Welcome to Shanna Sweets. I'm Shanna. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm located here outside Wichita, Kansas. I am, uh, I do classes locally and then have my YouTube channel and I also have a Facebook channel. I will put um, the links down below. If you'd like to follow me on that, I do uh, tutorials on Tuesday, Facebook Lives on Tuesday evenings, 7 o'clock local time, central time. Um, try to do them most Tuesdays. And, um, and I want to show you these cute little thank you cards I was making for customers tonight. So I thought I would make uh, one for you guys. So... I am using this stamp set, which I realized I had not used yet. I can't believe it because I think I've had it forever, it seems like. This was carried over into the annual catalog this time around. And then it doesn't have any thank you on it, so I pulled the uh, mini thanks out of Itty Bitty Greetings. And um, thought I would pair it with it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of um, water coloring. So we're going to start with, um, let's just go ahead and stamp out or do that part first so it can dry. So if you want to do water coloring, it's best to use stays on. And honestly, if you're using stays on, it's better to use one of the rubber stamps because they don't recommend that you use stays on cleaner on your photopolymer stamps because it kind of eats away at the, uh, on the photopolymers. So, so, um, and since I'm watercoloring, I decided to do this on shimmer paper because it takes water a little bit better. So I've cut out using the stitched framelits. You get four different, um, three different circles, ovals and squares but four different of each so it's a really super good deal um, and it's great if you're just beginning out and I use the largest oval because that fit these pins this is a great stamp set um, because it gives you uh, like different images so I just kind of stamp that in the middle um, stays on you want to keep, it comes with this little cover, and you want to keep that over your ink because it can dry out. I So I have these little dots that I've put on mine that, um, so then when I take it off, it holds it in place, and that's what, that's why you hear that little sound. So, so I'm just going to let my um, stays on. So I'm using an aqua painter, which that one's empty. I have two of them here, so hopefully this one's got some water in it. Though, so if you want to fill your aqua painters up, well, I keep a syringe, which I guess I don't have it right here in front of me. Um, I have a syringe with water in it, which I don't have right here by me. So that's how I f you can fill them, because they just screw. going to show you how easy they were to just screw out, but I guess I guess I can't show you very easy because oh, sorry, here we go just unscrews like that ta-da 
I'm making things more difficult than they need to be. Okay, so what I got here, so I'm going to do the blue one. So what I did is I'm going to squeeze, and the newer ones are a little more difficult to squeeze, but you can squeeze them in the middle. And then I'm just adding like one drop. I don't want it too wet. Which, okay, now my drop's not going to cooperate. There we go. So, um, and then just kind of color it in. And if you go over the edge a little bit, watercoloring is very forgiving. So just kind of dab it up and it will pick it up. And matter of fact, if you add a little bit of water to it and dab again, it'll pick it up. And actually need two of these because I did not stamp the last two cards that I need. So I'm going to ink my second one up here real quick. And sometimes you got to make sure you get the middle really good because it doesn't always I actually need two of these so sometimes when you're doing multiples it is just as easy to do up a couple cards instead of just one I find it really does not take that much longer so if you're doing up cards for people. It's just easier to do up a couple extras. So now we're going to just do the pink. This pink is really, really light. So you might want to put on a couple layers if you're doing pink because it's really difficult to see. And then I decided to do green. I am using the Subtle um, DSP for my paper. And that's why I chose kind of these lighter colored. And this is soft. Um, no, Granny Apple Green, excuse me, for the green. I was afraid the soft mint would be too light green, and that's why I went with the Granny Apple. And you can water it down more if you feel like they, that's too harsh of a green. But I wanted it to show up, so that's why. So see, I did all of that. I'm not going to make two cards with you, but I at least wanted to color that so that way it's done. Because I already have one made up. 
So, what I'm doing for my banner is I'm using the triple banner punch, and my white is two by five and a quarter, and I'm just sliding it in there and hitting the button. And then this one is just under two at like one and seven eighths. And again, hit that. And then this is just five and um, just under the just under the eighth, the one eighth under that for the width part. So then I'm going to take and. We're going to get the fuzzy wuzzy off of there, and we're going to put, oh, I think this white piece did not get measured right. ever so slightly all right so this is how you fix that you put it down going to measure it there at the bottom see some of my whites were longer so Slide it in the trimmer and trim it at the top. There you go. And it's fixed. Now, my white is five and a half by eight and a half. Just fold it in half. And then my blue is four by five and a quarter and I've run it through the polka dots basics um, embossing folder make sure you have lots of good tape on there for that and then we're going to use this um, Ribbon. This is the sheer ribbon, and it is whisper white, and it's like just a little bit. And we're just running around the top here, and I'm just going to take it and tie a bow. middle and then I'm taking a glue dot just to secure it in its spot so kind of towards the top and then just put a glue dot down so that way I can make sure it doesn't go anywhere and then go ahead and Nothing cooperating with me. All right, I'm going to put this over just a little bit to, from the edge. Like that. And then we are going to take some dimensionals here. I can't believe I ran out of dimensionals in my spot, but I have gone through a bunch being the holiday season. 
Seems like a lot of Christmas cards. I have gone through a bunch of dimensionals. So, we're going to put that there. Then, we're going to use this little punch. The classic label punch. We're going to click us out a label. And then I have, since I'm doing blue... This is balmy blue paper, and we're going to use the balmy blue ink. Make sure I got my thinks here the right way. Make sure I... That's, I'm happy with that. And I found that I wanted... Where's the first... These guys are a little bit wide for my um, label here, so it was best to cut them in half or dig out your minis, which I do have, but I kind of like this halved. And then I kind of put this so that my ribbon was in the middle. This guy's holding down are good, so we don't have to. There you go. So, there's the card. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you are having a great, had a great Thanksgiving. And you will continue to watch um, uh, my videos and check out my Facebook for my Tuesday Facebook Lives. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.